Okay, hi, YouTube. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be trying something a little new. I don't know if I've shown if my video is going to show up in the right order, but this was the very first lace wig I ever brought, the very first one I ever put on. Um, if you remember, it had more of It had more of a wave to it, more of a little curl. Well, it was like that loose body wave, and it kind of just got curled, combed out a lot. It still has a little bit of a wave, if you see here, a little bit of a wing, a um, little curl at the end. I don't want to throw it away simply because, where is it? Where is it? Simply because the hair is still pretty good, even though it's synthetic. You know, the hair is not really that, it's not really frizzy at all. I mean, like, if you look at the ends, the ends look like just about any other wig once you brush it. So, I really don't want to throw it away, and I, I really, really like it. It's long, and I, I tend to not do long wigs um, very often. I like curls. Um, but, I was, had the idea of roller setting this, as you would normally roller set your hair, dipping it in hot water and seeing if the curl came back, because, as most of you know, synthetic hair, that you can do that. Like, especially, like, if you get your hair braided, um, get it braided, spiral roll the end of it, dip it in some hot water, take it out. You only dip it in for, like, two or three seconds. Dip it out, let it dry, and unroll it and you have good hair just like for all of you with straight straight synthetic wigs if you take a blow dryer on medium high heat with your wig brush and blow dry kind of like how, how I guess how you would your normal hair or kind of like how you see the Caucasians brush and blow their hair out it will straighten up and get nice and silky you just brush and blow dry so, um, I'm just going to try that. So, let's see how it works. Okay, so ladies, I'm back. I've almost done. I've rolled the sides and pretty much the back. I think this side is going to end up with more curls because, one, I'm running out of rollers, and two, um... It was easier to curl this side than this. Uh, I must tell you, this was a lot easier in concept than practice. So, just going to take a couple now here in the front. And... Roll them. I am running out of big rollers. Well, rollers, period. So I'm just brushing through the hair, making sure that I don't have any knots in it. My edges are nice and clear. I'm just kind of big. I'm kind of split that in half. Because, I mean, if this was human hair, one, it would be a lot easier. Um... Because you wouldn't have to do so much brushing. It would actually part a lot easier. But it's not. So. got to work it out the best way you can. And I use these kind of clips. Either the small alligator clips or the long ones. And I use that with my natural hair too. Because it's better. You don't get um. You don't get those dents all in your head they're, and they're way quicker than bobby pins I mean way way quicker so, um, gonna go ahead on here and finish rolling up and I'll come back and let y'all know what's going on okay so last piece and 
lot different in concept. So I'm using these rollers now. These um, they come out like this, and then you just ooh, don't pull so hard, or you'll break it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of open up as a thing. Okay, so that broke as well. These two didn't break. Why are you breaking all of a sudden? And I would only need one more row in my head, but I'm not going to pull it that hard. You see? It plugs back in there. So. Just brush out. Brush it out. <laughs> That's kind of corny. I'm kind of corny. And I like these rollers too, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, because of this this little grip. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, see the, the, how it has these little grips, these little teeth on it? It works pretty good. So here, this side I didn't really have that many curls. I guess I was running out. This side I have more curlers on. So, right now I'm going to go downstairs, boil some water, and dunk. So, when I dunk it,